it's always going to end in the And how do yeah. we go from that? Well, it's like every episode feels like that to me. I'm always like, what at the end of every episode, you know something's going to be revealed, something's going to happen, it's going to be a cliffhanger. Um, so it's always super exciting to get a script. I always read it right away. Um, so, I, yeah. But, uh, I mean, where do we go from here? It's kind of like, um, yeah, the last season finale was so intense and set up the mystery for season four. Um, I guess, I guess we'll see. It's kind of this huge mystery, this big question mark alongside them being in senior year. So I feel like it's going to be a lot of a balance between them being normal kids and then them being in Riverdale and being in Riverdale and everything that comes along with being in Riverdale. And how does the introduction of Betty and Jughead's brother play into that? Is it, it obviously raises the stakes, but is it like, is there a new level of awkwardness? Because they've had to kind of they've somewhat contented with the fact that their parents had this history, but now sure. there's an actual human being in front of Representative them. Representative of it. Yeah. And that he's in their lives. I think, uh, well, so you see Betty and, and Charles uh, spending time together. Charles is working for the FBI, trying to track down Edgar, and they find out that Alice was, was working with him. Um, and so Betty actually goes to the FBI office um, to help Charles try and do the best that she can helping him, her being, you know, a teenager in high school, all that she can do to help the FBI. Maybe not a, so much, but, um, but you know, using her resources around her to try and help get her mom back. Clearly that's her first priority. Yeah. So I feel like all the characters on the show are so many different players, and especially Betty. Like, you know, what has been your favorite aspect of this game? Dark Betty side, and what are the challenges that go along? I mean, I think I'm incredibly lucky to play a character who has gone through so much. You know, everyone's like, oh my god, give Betty a break. But to be honest, that's what makes it so fun for me, because I think it would be quite boring to play a character that didn't struggle or have anything going on in her life. So to me, I'm very grateful. Yeah, clearly, you know, your heart goes out to Betty because she's gone through so much. But it's also so nice for me as an actor to play someone who has so much on her has such high stakes in her life and has so much ambition um, because it just makes her that much more interesting and that much more dimensional. Um, it's amazing to play and challenging, which is makes coming to work easy after, you know, it's been four, we're in our fourth season playing the same character. It's not boring. Like, I still enjoy her because she still has new sides that we're discovering. Are we I hope so. I hope so. B and B are my favorite, so that's something that I'm really pushing for. So, on top of all the senior year struggles, since Betty and Jack have will be doing long distance, how does that affect their relationship? <clears throat> um, I don't know yet. I think uh, he, he's, he's going to be going to prep school, and that is going to create distance between the two of them, um, like physical distance. Um, I think they're going to try their best to stay emotionally connected, but I think, you know, they might be maybe pulled in some different directions. I really couldn't tell you. I don't know. But as of the beginning of season four, they're going strong and very supportive of each other. Well, if you could write the script, what would it, how would it, would it read? What would it be? Well, yeah, how would, how would it read? Like what would happen? Yeah. Oh, geez. Happiness? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe like just a, a break. I, I mean, I think there there's going to be a Halloween episode, which is really exciting. Something we've wanted to do for a while. So that's going to be fun. But someone will probably die. <laughs> so, so maybe not. But yeah, it'll. I'm looking forward to it. Also, congratulations.